Hi everyone, this is Tanya Lee of Harmonia Tarot and welcome to your daily reading for Wednesday. If you are new to this channel and feel guided, go ahead and hit subscribe. Make sure you hit that bell twice so that you can be notified of all future updates. As a reminder, this is a general reading and meaning it's not going to resonate with every single soul that's out there. So guys, take what resonates, leave the rest, utilize your own intuition. If you want something more private and personable, go in my description box below. All of my information is there to book a private reading. All right, let's get started with some Oracle cards, a six tarot, a six spread for tarot cards, and then we're gonna have three outcome cards and then a healing card at the end. Calling in our guides, our ancestors, and our ascended masters as to what messages we need to know today. What messages do we need to know? Oof. Wolf. Instinct. Look how beautiful this card is. Following your instinct, I'm here. Something is very instinctive that's in, like within you. What other messages do we have? Ooh. We have intimacy, but intimacy was reversed. It's a lack of something here, a lack of intimacy. Following your gut about a situation here, about something where it feels like you're separated. Some of you are just like following your instinct, I'm hearing to leave a situation, or something that no longer serves you, wanting to move forward in something. It's like your heart is telling you something isn't right. Let's see what the tarot cards have to say. Yeah, we have the Emperor reversed, Judgment, the Fool reversed, interesting, Eight of Cups, Justice, and the Magician. Guys, the Emperor, Aries energy here, okay? You might be dealing with somebody here who is kind of like, I want to say they like to dictate, okay? Um, there's a lot of blue here, so it feels like communication has been cut off. It does feel like this is a male energy, okay? It feels like we have somebody who either, I feel, I want to say it was you who's cut somebody off. There's been communication or a misunderstanding. I'm noticing here the woman who is looking back here. There's judgment in place here, okay? The, the divine is in here, but it feels like there's no, there's a false start here with the fool reversed, okay? It almost feels the level here. Look at all of this red, guys. It's almost like with this reverse, it's stating to me that the passion or desire to be with this individual just no longer is here. I'm hearing from many of you, you feel very rooted with this individual. Notice how there's roots coming out of her, okay? Your desire and what I'm feeling is that you're feeling this lack of intimacy. You're feeling this lack of love, this connection. It feels like a lack of connection. Somebody definitely feels like they're trying to control a situation, but the fact that it was reversed, it feels like they're not succeeding. This person might want to control an outcome of the relationship or have things their way, and I'm hearing their way or the highway. But I feel like there has been some kind of um, communication loss here, okay? We have the Eight of Cups. This is about walking away, about something that is emotional. Water energy here, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. It feels, I don't know, when I look at this card, especially in the princess deck here, do you see how she looks exhausted? Do you see how she's kind of like got smoke coming off here? I feel like it's like this, it's taken so much work to get to this, to this spot that you're realizing here with Libra energy, justice, that you're really trying to get your balance on here. More blue energy. It feels the level of you're trying to manifest a new start here with the magician, okay? It feels like today we have somebody here who no longer wants to be with somebody. Might be presented with another opportunity, okay? This does feel, if this is not a love relationship, this is a disconnect of not being satisfied with somebody, okay? Intimacy can come in different forms as well. So for some of you, this might have to be a, regarding a work relationship about emotionally just being like, I'm ready, I'm ready to move on. I wanna manifest a new start. But what's interesting with this magician card is that you have somebody here. So either you're talking to somebody or somebody you're communicating with somebody about maybe having desires to have a new beginning or a new start without this individual, 
without this person who you don't feel um, connected to anymore, okay? Let's see what your outcome cards here are with the after tarot deck. What do we have here? I do not do reversals on the after tarot, guys. Just don't feel guided to. Ooh. Wheel of Fortune, Temperance, and the Devil. Interesting, guys. Wheel of Fortune. Sometimes this can feel, like I said, like that third-party energy maybe be deciding or seeing something that is better out there that suits you. If there is not a person out there, it's just talking with somebody that's saying, you know, I feel like it's time. And I'm hearing that for many of you, there are, times are changing. It's like now you're following your instinct. Now you're following your heart. We got a 10 here of completion. There's going to be balance, Sagittarius energy here, okay? Feeling um, like you are balanced, especially with the fact that you guys got justice and your outcome is temperance. This is about basically getting on your balance here. What's interesting is we got Capricorn energy here, which is the devil. So what this is sitting to me with this particular deck with the after tarot is some of you are definitely feeling passion and desires for another individual. See how they're entangled with each other? But it might feel the level of feeling shame or guilt because you are still in a, another relationship, okay? Where you might have blocked communication or things not working out. Others of you, it's finding passions and like, I'm hearing passions and desires gaining your intimacy out and in other things, using your energy in other aspects. Some of you, this is creativity or finding something that really pushes you to the level of feeling satisfied, okay? This is instinctive for you. Some of you, like I said, who have been wanting to have a new start in career, it's like finally all of a sudden you have an idea today and it's like, I'm just gonna follow my passions. I'm gonna follow my desires. But the need is, to be able to allow the universe to come in and get your balance on here. Let's see what healing message we have for you. What healing message do we have here? Remembrance, resurfering of past feelings and emotions. So really what spirit is saying here is that you have to go through your feelings of this, whoever this is, this energy. It's to remember what didn't work into that relationship and to allow those feelings to come up, guys, so that you can go, I'm hearing this, to go with the flow because that's how you're gonna get your balance here. It's not about ignoring the situation. It's not about ignoring your heart. It's not about escaping. It's about vocalizing your truth here, the truth that you want a new start or a new beginning. It does not feel like a new start or a new beginning with the person here that you feel is very controlling in some aspect here. You are being very guided here, and I do feel many of you have a lot of support here with this, okay? It's like you have to get through some of the things that you are basically programmed of thinking that it's, as I'm hearing, as good as it's going to get. But it's not necessarily the case. You are, you do have desires, you do have passions, and you are manifesting. You definitely are absolutely manifesting. And like I said, some of you are being presented with a new start. Someone might even have your eye. All right, guys, if this resonated for you, go ahead and hit like, comment below, and I will see you next time. Take care.